Okay, one of the most bizarre objections to the pre-tribulation rapture that I think I've ever heard is uh, quite popular, believe it or not, but it's bizarre. The idea is that this little girl from Scotland in the 1830s uh, was under some sort of demonic possession and started spouting out all these words that were meaningless and coherent and somehow that this was put together and someone wrote it down and it became the reason why we believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to give you some background on this. Okay, this little girl named Margaret MacDonald, uh, her parents were apparently some sort of charismatics and there had been, uh, you know, they had visions and dreams and they were um, attempting to speak in tongues and do these things. And uh, throughout Scotland, they had actually made you know, quite a little splash. People heard about it and people were traveling to hear them in his church. Well, you had a gentleman by the name of John Nelson Darby. And he was a member of the Plymouth Brethren, who were one of the leading Christian uh, Bible-believing and writing groups of that time. He goes to this church to see, you know, what's going on. Who is this girl? What is she saying? And he just happens to be the man who is in the process of popularizing the pre-tribulation rapture. Uh, in 1827, three and a half years prior to him meeting Margaret MacDonald, he had already been writing about the rapture and been in print, and he was just going to see what he could hear. Well, basically, he determined that what was going on in that church was not of God, it was demonic, and it had nothing to do with uh, you know the movement that he believed was of the Bible. Well, somehow, Years later, here we are, 200 and some years later, we're looking at things and um, believing that somehow Margaret McDonald is the reason why we believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. Or at least that's what the opponents to the pre-tribulation rapture would have you believe. Um, if we fast forward, uh, there's a gentleman who has written seven books that spout this theory. His name is Dave McPherson. His books go back as early as 1973, and he was publishing them right up into the year 2000. And all seven books go under the premise that John Nelson Darby gets the rapture idea from Margaret MacDonald, and that before the year 1830, that no one had ever believed in a pre-tribulation rapture. And that's just false. Um, I tell you what I want to do. I want to read to you the utterance. This is actually what was written down that Margaret MacDonald, or it's a segment of what Margaret MacDonald uh, had spoke, and it's referred to as the utterance. And <laughs> it's very telling. Okay. This is the fiery trial, which is to try us. It will be for the purging and purifying of the real members of the body of Jesus. The trial of the church is coming from the Antichrist. Okay, now I don't know if you noticed this or not. This is her utterance. Check me out on this. Go to Google. Read a book. You can Google this, and I think there's even a Wikipedia page where you can read what the utterance, as it is referred to, um, is. And what I just read you is part of it. It's clearly post-tribulational. Uh, the idea that the Antichrist <clears throat> is going to rule on the earth and that the church has to somehow make it through to purify themselves to be worthy to go to heaven is an idea that comes from post-tribulationists. Pre-tribulation is that Jesus comes and gathers us together, takes us to heaven to be with him, uh, and we receive our glorified bodies and our uh, rewards in heaven while they're here on earth. And God's pouring out his wrath on the inhabitants of the earth. So it's complete contrast. It's not the same thing. And Margaret MacDonald's actually speaking of a post-tribulation, not a pre-tribulation. So it goes back to Mr. McPherson. Apparently this gentleman had quite an axe to grind with the whole doctrine of the pre-tribulation rapture. In 1953, he was attending a Christian college in which he got kicked out 
because they held to the doctrine of the pre-tribulation rapture, and he didn't. And he was so famous for arguing with his professors that he actually got dismissed from this college. Fast forward just a few years later, his father is planting a church in California. He plants this church, has all these members, and the members of the church hold to the pre-tribulation or rapture. And Mr. McPherson does not. They find out when he starts preaching uh, a post-tribulation rapture in the church and winds up getting expelled. They voted this man out of his own church. So Mr. McPherson has written seven books to try to sway people against the true and sound doctrine of the rapture. And apparently it's worked. Um, so if you hear this, and there's videos all over YouTube where you have a little girl swaying back and forth in a rocking chair, um, speaking gibberish, and they would have you believe that this is where the rapture came from. So I just want to say that that's complete nonsense. And we'll move on to something else. So please stay with me as we continue to learn about the rapture.